we got the Province G700, aka the 6x6. This thing is nasty. This is probably the most craziest G-Wagon I've ever experienced in Terminator in my life. And it's so, it's so exclusive. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're at Toys Auto Art. Crazy, crazy car action is going out today. You guys are going to see multiple GT2 RSs. We're going to see some six speedsters. We also got a special, special, very rare vehicle we're going to show you on the channel today. I won't tell you what it is. You guys got to stay tuned, but it's going to be lit. So we're gonna start off with these five G2 RSs right here. They're all different. Two of them are almost similar colors, but have different specifications when it comes to the side. This one is really nice. This is pretty much like the generic one you always see on the streets or on the, on the roads every. This one's cool. But when it comes to this one, this is my favorite one. I think it's chalk gray, if I'm not mistaken. With the red interior, ah. Oh. And then our friend in Toronto, he has one of these uh, G2 RSs, but he's the one, he's a little different when it comes to stuff. Which one do you guys like so far? Like. It's so another, very similar to the first one. The interior is totally different. Um, instead of the redness, there's redness here and a yellowness on that side. And now the red one. I think this was called Guard Red, the GT RS. This was a very like mean looking spec, you know? Red cars always give them more aggressiveness on the roads. Like all the three, all of these five here, this one's a more sharper looking one in my opinion. Which one of the five that you guys like so far? Because you already know this one I'm taking, if I can get it. One day soon, obviously. Well, honestly, when it comes to the Porsches, it's just like the GT2 RS has been a, one of my favorite, favorite cars. When they brought the 997, like we showed the red one on the channel yesterday. That one is just, it's just that car. It's, it's a raw car. It's a real car where you won't get that type of stuff today. Like everybody has to take one of these on the road. You know, you have like six, 700 horsepower just literally at your disposal. Guys, which cars are you choosing all of? All these five Porsches. If you're not a Porsche fan today, you're gonna be because we have another rare Porsche car we're gonna show you guys today. That's one of my favorite hype cars. You guys are gonna enjoy it too. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. I love you. Now back to our show. Hey, hey guys, yo, this is a special thing we wanna tell you from earlier on. We got the Bravis G700, AKA the 6x6. This thing is nasty. This is probably the most craziest G-Wagon I've experienced in Terminator in my life. And it's so, it's so exclusive. We only have a few in Canada. And damn, this one looks really good. Let's have a closer look to it. Obviously one of the big things that covered it, just six wheels to it. Something really different from you guys haven't seen before. It is a next level, like it, it's a, tr it's a, it's a truck. It's a, I don't even know what the type of thing. It's totally next level. Something like this costs a little bit under three million Canadian dollars. Think about that. I think only regular G bikes. This thing is out of the world. We have never experienced something like this, and I just want to say special thanks to Toys Auto Art, aka Abel, for letting us have a ride in this thing. Because God knows when the next time we able to do something like that. But let's get a little closer. Right? You guys see some. My favorite feature on this vehicle is the dual wheels in the back. Like this is insane, man. Like God, imagine going through it. Like. Think of this, going through a snowstorm that has like 30, 40 uh, centimeters of snow, you're killing it. You're going through everything, nothing is stopping you. You guys, back of it, you know. Let's see the back. Whoa. The back of it has a pickup truck feature, you know, and that puts some stuff For me, I put a barbecue in there, some extra chairs, go to the beach, go off road and go camping. This is the ultimate truck if you're somebody that has the money to do something cool. And then, yo, look, this is certified. You got the Toys Auto badging on the vehicle to make it know it's certified and it's legit. This is the Bravis 6x6 700. The 700 is, is the power, if I'm not mistaken, of it. Ooh, 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 skating. And then I'll show you guys the interior. Wow. Guys, this is insane. This Bravis truck is next level. We got the leather and leather flooring for carpet. That's next level. The red carbon fiber. Now that sticks out very, very nice. We have so many cool things with the vehicle. This vehicle is featuring. Like this is the ultimate G wagon for somebody who's a big uh, fan of the G wagon. Roof. Yeah, brother. Red Cartera roof, and then take a look here. Hey. Okay. Yeah. And the back seat. So when you have your passengers in the back, look at the space room for them, and the extra. Oh. This, if this is the type of thing you would have to win the lottery to pass something like this because like I said three million dollars is a lot of money and this thing is definitely worth it if you're definitely a fan I would 100% taste off-roading I would actually put a snow plow on top of this in a snow plow on this vehicle and do some crazy shit with it 
The stitching on the door is very, very unique and nice. They did a really great job on it. Um, it stands up. Bravis, when it comes to their stuff, they're, they're very high-end. They're tip-top. They do their stuff properly. When you're buying into their product, you're not buying this shitty product for, you know, 20, 30,000. You're spending some good good money for good quality products. And in the, in the, in the long run, you're getting your money back on it. How was the drive? Like, How was the drive? The drive was up. So the drive in the 6x6, it was amazing. Like, nothing I've ever experienced before. So many people constantly looking at you. It's like, what is this? Like, if I saw this on the road, I'm shitting bricks, I'm stopping what I'm doing, and I'm stalking the person for a little bit until I get a few good content for social media. What do you guys think about this G-Wagon? Is it something, is it is it for you? Is it too big? Is it too small? You Do you prefer the G63 or the, the 4x4 square too? You can actually lower the suspension and raise everything out about this vehicle, which is, hey, it's perfect for what you want to do with it. The only thing about this vehicle, it is not sold in North America. So if you want to get one, you need to know someone to get one. And there's a lot of things to go with it. What do you guys think, guys? Now back to our show. Ooh, guys, we got some fine convertibles here. We got the Ferrari, we got the AMG. Man, oh man! Imagine being in the states or being like Miami right now, or even California, to the drop town. Which of the three convertibles would you guys take? The Ferrari, the AMG, or the Porsche? I would definitely go with the Porsche. You guys know I'm already a big Porsche fan. Damn! And this is like the Heritage Edition. We got the two speedsters right here. We got this one, pretty much stock, as I was just said a while ago. You can see everything's stock about it. One special, special thing you guys are probably not gonna notice, really, is you guys can see the, how the seat is set here. The seat's further back, and then we look back over here. The seat is, this is where the seat's actually fixed to, so you can't really go as much further, further back. And our boy, Tony, he's able, he's a big dude big tall guy and he can't really fit in the car properly so they did a little delete of the back there and he can fit there comfortably and drive his car and if you guys noticed the colors on here the gold badge and speedster badge and the hre wheels um our homeboy he did literally got a special he took off the badging off here set it to, to hre they copied the exact color of that badge and made it into a wheel because you cannot get this color or this finish from hre well it made a special customized order all right, guys, let's go walk around the place because there's so many more cars I haven't showed you guys at, and they're sick. Where are my G-Wagon fans at? We got the Bravis G63 right here. Whew. This one's nice, very nice and so with a satin white finish on it. Wow, the interior is pretty cool too. What do you guys think about the G-Wagons? These are, you know, this is a newer body style where it's more, much smoother, more appreciated for everything else. It's not like the other body style where it's, you know, so boxy and it felt like the same thing over the last 40 years with those vehicles. The front end, you know, that's where it takes it. It's so aggressive. We got the, <laughs> it's so aggressive. We got the carbon fiber hood tubes and it's Bravis. So, you know, when it comes to Bravis, they go extreme. They don't mess around with small things like that. They go out and have, you guys see how aggressive the front end is, man. Like it's nasty. I would definitely get something like this. I know the wifey, she she wants one of these so bad, but we got her something else. We got her a Ford Expedition. Guys, look inside the interior. Wow. Very nice color combination with the cream and the dark, like the chocolatey colors of it. It's very, very nice. Oh, the, and then the best thing about the G-Wagons is that door closing sound, best thing. And then also we got the we got the drop head right here. Now this is a boss car, man. Like I drove in a few of these. I was even lucky to get one for my birthday for the day or two. The power in this thing is insane. I don't know if you guys know how the doors open up on these bad boys, but they open like a boss. Look, look at this, guys. Caters to you. And the specification on this one's very nice too. The navy blue, white and the wood grain, very, very nice. So let's go through our Ferrari people because I know we have a bunch of Ferrari fans on here. We got the Pista Spider and the Pista regular coupe. So these Ferraris are not just your regular basic 48s. These are the Pistas and you know, the Spider. And these cars are can be around, let's say, the Spider probably a little bit more. 
uh, five, six, 500 to 600,000. Well, they're probably about the same, 500, $600,000. It's pretty crazy, but they're collectible car, they're collectible cars, they go up in value. They're like the four or five apes uh, speciality, just like those cars, but these ones are like very unique. Guys, look at this. This is insane. I have never actually paid attention to this setup here. Like, wow, like the aerodynamics on this is probably in really insane. Yeah. Yo, Hindu. Yo, yo, do you ever notice this, brother? Yeah. Look at it. It goes right through. Like, take a look. I, I've, I've never noticed this before. Yeah. Look. Oh, yeah, it goes right it goes through. Right through. You ever, I've never, ever noticed that until afterwards. And the one thing I'm noticing too, this stripe is like a dark navy blue. You guys can see, obviously, some Italian special name for it, yeah, but it's actually yeah, blue. It's not black. It actually black on the camera. Yeah, that's that so dark royal navy yeah. blue kind of thing. Yeah, so, Induzin, the question I ask you every single time when you come to a place like this What's the car? Which one are you taking home? If you want a lottery. <laughs> right. It has to be a lottery. <laughs> have to, bro. That's the only way we're making it out. Uh, lottery. Uh, I would love for a GT2 RS, you know, but you know what? There's options. I kind of want to just, I'm going to let Evo have his cars. I'm going to let it be. It's a very nice display of lineup, so I'm not going to break it. I'm going to let that be. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the AMG GTR. You always been a fan of the JM GTR, eh? No, I actually haven't. Actually, I, I hate, <laughs> I hate Mercedes AMG. <laughs> I was totally wrong, Berlin. But no, no, but the reason is because like, I've seen so many AMG GTRs yeah. and they're boring, right? But this one is, this one's a roadster, first of all, right? It's a convertible. And also because the weight, it looks so very, it's very distinct, like the all black at the satin finish, yeah. the black wheels, carbon ceramics, carbon spoiler, everything's nice. It fits in. I feel like this just really looks like a great and subtle AMG GTR, like, Thanks, dude. You always give your opinion. No I know problem. you're busy. Go yeah, check I you got soon. Got time. Stuff to do, guys. I'll see you on the other side. Yeah, somebody's got to do the social media post while we're recording. So, um, so let's go back on the other side over here. We're gonna check out the Aston Martin Superleggera DB11. Uh, this car, very, very nice and stuff looking. And super. The, my favorite word. It's super aggressive. Something like this is like it's really nice to see that Aston Martin is actually doing something proper and to set up the whole DB11. Like the previous one, the DB10, I wasn't really a big fan of it. DB11 Super Legera, whole different story. It's a whole different league on its own. With the satin black finish and then the yellow brake calibers, like it's actually really, really nice. Like let's see, I love how that has run ahead. It's, it's like literally. It's super cool. It's like, I don't even know if it's carbon fiber or some type of thing, but it's it's nice. It's a nice little feature on there. She's a wide one too. She got a big wide side, you know? And the rear end is where it's at. Super aggressive, man. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that, but don't look <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> like, this is factory, like, custom. Like, you know, that's straight from the factory. Like, yeah. he didn't really do much to this. Like, it's straight from factory. The color, the carbon fiber. Like, this murderous spec, it, you could get it straight from the factory. Like, go to Aston Martin. Hey, I want a car. I want to be James Bond. All right, here you go. Black. Yep. And you're there, right? But yep. I mean, it's all about the money. What he did, right? I mean, he put the he put the wheels on this, the HREs, and you know. Yeah, the HREs that, look that, really good. That really does like adds it to a next step. Yeah, it brings up the vehicle. But yeah, because I really I really love the diamond then, stitching. Yeah, the diamond stitching is next level. This one, it's a great car, man. It's a yeah, great car. It needs car. more love. It's too bad some more companies not doing crazy more aftermarket body kits for them because it'd be really nice to see that. And the good thing with like what I love about toys is you know. A lot of crazy cars here. Yeah. A lot of exciting cars here, but like nothing too crazy and not nothing clown-like or you know like yeah. nothing outrageous. Like these are clean cars, clean, clean builds, high quality people. Like you know we're dealing with Boston, we're dealing with Novacek, we're dealing HRE. with HREs, Brabus, right? Like all the high-end clean, companies. Clean, modern, fresh builds. Like, yeah. I think like a good word to put these like these are all like these are fresh cars, you know. Yeah. Like well, it, it, was, it was like a freshness skill. Like boop, what's boop, the name boop, of the shop again? Toys Auto Art. Exactly, it's, it's art. It's, it's toys, it's art, it's auto. This no. is amazing, like it's great. $7,000 option, carbon, uh, forged carbon. It's forged, right? All yeah, the, yeah. Carbon, yeah. This is forged? This is forged in the back. Is forged. Yeah, we've seen it. Yeah. And, and the DBS. Yeah. And it's a $21,000 paint job, $7,000 option for the forged carbon. Damn. Damn. That's yeah, insane, yeah. just for a couple badges. For what? $180,000 MSRP on this I didn't know Seven grand for a few bags. So a little different. And everyone's like, oh my god, yo, Forge is like, what's up with Forge? Yeah, yeah. People don't forge is actually more expensive and it's just a recycled carbon fiber. Recycled, actually. that's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a recycled carbon fiber yeah, that like, looks like a different pattern. Yeah, so we get something like that recycling now we got this. But, anyways, it's beautiful, so. Yeah, it's oh, crazy. Thank you. So, all the big three we got the LaFerrari, we got the P1, the 918 Spiders, where it's at. So, 
I would love to get one of them. Obviously, we won't have to win the lottery because that's okay, the only way yeah, of getting it. But yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> like, guys. 19. This car kind of really speaks for itself, right? Pretty much does. I mean, like, it's a legend. It's it's the fastest car. It's a crazy car. You can really put Porsche on a, on a pedal still after yep. the CGT. Um, just take a look at the interior. We definitely need to have a CGT on this channel. Yeah, <laughs> we have not sure. ran into one yet. We did at Fat Reserve, actually. Oh, you know what? One. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> so many different cars we see. Yeah, the interior. It's very nice, you know. Oh very my subtle. goodness! Very nice. But like, that's the thing, right? Like right now, if you're in the cockpit, you can't really tell. Like, nothing crazy, but it looks like a regular Porsche. Yeah. Just like in this angle, like where I'm standing right now. Yeah. Like it looks like on any other Porsche. Nothing. But if you if you really think about it too, it's like it's literally adapting to the new age of no buttons. Of no buttons. Like there's this car came out like three four years ago, and there's so it's many. It's very there's, simple. Like, it's very simple. It's like a full screen down down there, yeah. down the middle, right? It's a very clean look. Like nothing like nothing attacking in your face. Mm -hmm. Like oh no, press this, press this, or be distracted by me. And the carbon firework inside is very very nice. I love the amount of carbon fireworks involved with it. The acid green stitching around it and all that. Is um, this car is number 522 of the 918 units they made. 917 now. <laughs> ah, yes, 917. One of our friends, RIP. <laughs> um, this is a regular 918 that they add the wise neck package. The only difference you can see, it has the regular standard wheels that come with it. They don't have the wise tech uh, wheels on it. Like I said, the acid green interior, acid green stitching on the interior. Very, very nice. Carbon fiber everywhere, guys. Everywhere inside. That's pretty cool. The Chinese students that drive the Mercedes CC series and then put that. Well, a little spoiler. Yeah, that's, that's the first thing. I, first thing I thought. I'm like, yeah, let's put it on the top here. So you guys can see this. You know, it's legit. Number five twenty-two of the nine seventeens. <laughs> um, yeah, man, this is something really cool to see. I really, really, really like the the nine the. I really like the 959 that followed through with the Carrera GT and making the 97, 918. Now this is something unique. I don't know how Porsche is going to top this off. I don't know what's next in line for this one. Um, it's a pro hopefully it's not so like fully hybrid. I have to have you yeah. know. I some think this is what, and you know I remember you know when these cars came out and people were, were seeing these on the road. The funniest thing was like, oh, it looks like it's a Porsche giving birth to uh, a BMW Y8. Of the tail yes. Lights, remember? Yes. That was, that was that, the thing. That was, that was the jokes that they were being. That was with. one of the big things about these cars. When you see it, like not as close as this, but when you're far off, you're seeing it driving on the road and stuff. It really looks like it's like delivering an i8 as it's driving. No, 100%. In the future, when we look back at this car when it's 20, 30, 40 years old, it's still gonna be a gorgeous-looking car. Everything, the mechanics about this one, the exhaust that are on the top, like I didn't really take that in from like, you know, we always think about the nine, the, the McLaren uh, 600 LT yeah. was placed out here, but yes, yeah. very, very timeless car. And this thing is going to be worth a lot of money in the timeless future. Video, yeah. But yeah, oh, this yeah. is one of my favorite cars. Yeah, you go talk about your eight, your, your bad I boy. The, I love these cars, like A12 Super Fast, I've always been a fan of it. And yeah. you know, Marlon, I come over to your house sometimes and you know, I'm playing Forza. You know the car I have, I have the purple A12. Yeah, I remember. I like the black wheels lowered, you know, it's a beast, okay? It's always spinning the tires until third gear, yeah. you know? <laughs> And then, oh, I love this one, man. Tan interior. Yeah. All the detail on this, right? Like, is that blue or black? I can't that, remember. That, black. that looks black, yeah. It's very nice. Like, you know, that, that middle stripe, there's red, there's black. There's a lot of color on there. Yeah. But it still looks, it looks, it looks rich. It looks luxurious. It looks exquisite, really. Yeah, yeah it really does. What's and your favorite feature on it? The, the, the passenger, uh, the little dash. Uh, right I was going to say, the my little, thing, so, yeah. That is super, super cool. I've seen it so many times. Uh, one of our good friends, uh, Parker, he has one. And it's in a video. See, uh, oh, it's such a cool like, feature. You see the acceleration, you see the shifting points, and you know, it's perfect for Snapchat. Oh, and for Instagram, sure. Oh, you know? yeah. Like like I said, man, I've been a fan of these front engines in the Ferraris. They are way better, in my opinion. Yeah, I know. I love the A12. Like, How front, I really love the A12. Yeah. Very unique, man. It's very, the styling of it. Ferrari is always, always on top of the stuff when it comes to styling these cars, man. You know, the best thing about this is. Ferrari V12s, like you can't grow on it. I'm, I'm, I'll say it like a thousand times over. Like, for me, it's Ferrari V12 over Lamborghini V12. Yeah, because, seriously. Yeah, the, symph I, the symphony of a V12 of a Ferrari. Yeah. Sounds more musical to my ears than a Lamborghini. A Lamborghini V12, it screams. It's out there. It's like it's there, but like this one is just like. Great example. It's like a whole different tune. You know? I, I, I told totally him. Remember yesterday with that A12 getting out yeah, of the garage. That, guy just, that yeah. sound of that. Oh, like yeah, like it's different. Like you know, like it sound like Lambo sound badass. Like don't get course. me wrong. I would love to downshift Aventadors and rip it into. Of course. But like, 
a Ferrari V12, like it's yeah. something you can't go wrong with. And you know, you would never, I would never get bored of the sound. Definitely not. What do you think about this bad boy? This with the GTC four two four four Lucio, yeah. Yes. I think you know. AKA the clown shoe. It, it's so tiring to say that name, GTC four Lucio. Like, how can they just call it like the Lucio or something? You know? Yeah, the shoes look good. I I didn't actually say that. They're factory probably. Oh, so that that's is uh, my boy's company, Velos Design Works, Omar in Miami. Oh yes, yeah, yes, yes. Velos, shout out to them. So the shape of this car, I do not like it at all. Like. It's obviously a four-seater, so it's great for bringing multiple people. You know, it's perfect for somebody that that has a Ferrari, like a 430, but they want to have something in the winter time and also be able to take their kids. This is a cool car for it, but not for yeah, me you, though. Yeah, you know what? I like I like the. It's sporty. It's like a sporty four-door car. Yeah. Of course, it's only it's like two-door in the sense that two doors, but it's a it's a four-seater, and you know the shape is totally different. Nothing close to a 12 nothing close to some of the Ferraris that they make pistas and all that. Yeah, it's a completely different shape. Completely different shape. But it looks nice. It looks like a, a fast grocery getter or fast, you know, like a soccer mom kind of. You know. Yeah. And one thing that people don't realize and remember, back in the day, I was saying about the early 90s or mid 90s, Ferrari had, um, they brought their first four seater car, the Ferrari 456. And it's pretty much identical. Identical in this part, the same thing. It was the first car Pride Pride brought that was four seaters. There you got people in the front and back. And I am seeing very similar aliens to that car. If you guys can check it out, the Ferrari 456. We'll put an image over here if you guys can see it. The tail lights, similar to body style. They're just bringing something back, but bringing it to a coupe shape. Because the other one was, it was not a really successful Ferrari. A lot of people didn't like the concept of having a seat in the front. And they didn't really sell out really well. Now, everybody has to have one of these. There's so many people, like look our friend Shmi. He loves his one. He loves it, loves it, loves it. Does all his adventures around Europe in the in that car. It's a big boy car, <laughs> and this is also a project car. This yeah. Is, this is the owner, you know, Avo's uh, personal car. This is the, a Phantom, and he's been working on it. He was telling me how it's paint. This is paint, by the way. It's it was it's been it's been wrapped. It was like a dark navy blue before, but yeah. now this is paint. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actual paint and it looks like it's a wrap, but it's actually paint. Yeah, it looks really, really and nice today. It, it has PPF on top, so it's, uh, it has superior coat. And then he's doing blue interior. So, you know, something very unique and, you know, you can already tell, like, the blue is Guys, very, this very is going nice. to be super, super cool when it's done. If you guys are wondering what this is, this is the back piece that goes over here. The front seats are still being worked on. Um, but you guys can see it's fully painted. You guys can see it in the, in the corners here. Very cool. The, uh, the so one thing we're going to show you guys too on the channel um all the toys all archives have been working on a toyota supra the mk5 it's right here we'll, we'll get uh, actually we'll, let's get toys to talk about because like we don't really know what's happening to it he knows what's happening to it so yeah. i think he'll be the best person to talk about this car and like what he plans to It'd do with it hey brother so tell me about the super but what's what's going on with it like we see all these parts around like can you tell us a quick thing about it First one that we're doing a JDM car. We've never done a JDM car before. Yeah. Uh, super excited. It's gonna be the first rocket bunny in Canada as well. So as you can tell, all the rivets are already put into it. The panels are just getting painted right now as we speak. Uh, that's gonna be really- Where's the, uh, what are you guys doing with the brakes? Yeah, the brakes are gone as you can tell. Uh, huge, massive AP racing brakes are going in Holy all around. Holy AP. Yep. Man. As you can tell, we have a nice little exhaust on the floor. Yeah. Full IP exhaust is going in. There's no wiring for it or anything right now. Where, where is that? <laughs> How's yeah. the setup for it? So it's gonna be, from the turbo, all the way to the back. Yeah. We're gonna put it in, it's gonna be amazing. Okay, okay. Uh, excited to see how it's gonna sound. We got a turbo going in from Pure okay. Turbos. RK Tune's gonna go in it. Uh, Aventuri intakes, mm -hmm. you name it. Uh, interior, very cool. We're going full red. Yeah. Fucking tire is gonna be everywhere. Gonna be Custom racing red. wheel. It's gonna go nice. Our wheels have nice shift light. Yeah, so these are the seats. Like like Bride racing them. seats. Yeah. Carbon fiber. Super light. Wow. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Lee. Yeah, yeah. Oh, super light. Yeah. That's going to go in. Yeah. Um, oh, I know the suspension too. What about the suspension? Yep. Crazy suspension, as you can tell, adjustable. So it's really, really going to be fun, different. Honestly, uh, Avo drove the car with this new suspension. I didn't get the chance yet. And he said it's almost smoother than his S Class. Yeah. Wow. So in a little car like this to be smooth, it's. Really Still exciting. has BMW technology into it, right? At the end of the day. <laughs> yes, yes. And a really cool feature, probably one of the most exciting features of this car that's gonna happen, uh, our wheels. First time Boston's going 14 inches wide in the rear. 14 inches, guys. 14 that's inches. Crazy. Three-piece wheel, 14 inches wide. Yeah. We're running 355 tires. 
uh, gonna be massive. Uh, the tire car is gonna be a black red theme. Yeah. And then the wheels are gonna be like a brushed and a polished look. This is gonna look really that nice little top on it. Um, I'm gonna definitely love to see this. One. Yeah, you know, it's, it's exciting. And we're hoping around 600 horsepower, so we'll see what comes out of a little three liter. But okay, no, definitely. Yeah, thanks, bro. Appreciate you taking your time, bro. Pleasure. Okay. You guys seen that man like this build is going to be super sick as soon as it's finished and completed we're definitely gonna to have to come back like montreal is our is our new favorite place we're gonna to have to come check out you guys see the front end everybody how are you guys think about the front end a lot of people don't like it a lot of people love it um i kind of like it i'm not it's 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 i gotta see what it comes out in the next few years because they've got to they're gonna probably uplift it make it look more better uh, i'm surprised no company has like anything to, to make it look similar to mk4 along the ways you know this is gonna be a cool build. This will be a really cool build when it's finished. So guys, that is it for our Montreal trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We had this amazing vehicle to end off the for our trip. So I want to say a big, 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 big thanks to AWA Toys All Art and all the rest of the guys there. Adam, Taylor, you guys were amazing. Thanks for having an experience. I hope you guys are enjoying everything. We have more content that's coming on the way. So you guys stay tuned. And once again, if you guys subscribe, like, Leave a comment below what was your favorite vehicle today and we'll get back to you ASAP. Have a great day.